and I'll keep it Mikhail, can you sum up your emotions after an amazing day here at Emirates Stadium? It's a day I will never forget. I can only thank you for how everybody's behaved with me and my family in those magnificent five years. And uh, when you leave the club, you, that's, that's when you see what uh, you mean to people and uh, how you feel about the club. And uh, my emotions and, uh, and the way I feel about the people, it cannot be any better. And it's been a dream. I was very scared about this day because uh, I'm going to say 99%. That's my last game as a professional footballer. And uh, I can't even talk. And uh, I felt um, very honored to play for this club and, and captain this place. And uh, I don't know, this club is, is class. And uh, once you're here, you never forget. Uh, and it's going to be hard for me to move on. But uh, I really enjoy the day. We can see what it means to you uh, right now. But the way to do it as well, Arsenal winning, other results going our way. You coming off the bench, and are you claiming that last goal? I don't know. I couldn't write a better script probably, but um, I don't know. The boys, they've been absolutely magnificent with me the last two days. The things I experienced, uh, they will stay with me the rest of my life. And um, I always try to look after them and uh, do my best even. We had some... Uh, Difficult moment, but as well, uh, at least uh, we got this club to the um, to the winning way again, winning some trophies, and uh, I don't know. As well, a big thank you to the manager, and all the staff for giving the opportunity to say goodbye to the football world as a player uh, on that list the, the last day, and uh, I don't know, and, and the way the supporters and the fans behave with me. That's that's how how I feel, and. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's a dream come true. Did it sink in, or did it hit you on the on the final whistle? Just exactly, you know, what end of your career probably. I love competing and uh, and I love this game. And uh, I wanted to decide when I thought it was uh, the time to leave it because I prefer to make a decision than uh, the other way around. Uh, and I'm living, in my opinion, living the best club in England for sure. And uh, and I'm very happy because, as well, the people who own it, the manager, they've been unbelievable for me the last uh, few weeks. They left um, the doors open for me, for this club, and uh, and that means a lot. So, do you know your your next step now, or do you just take time to to decide what's going to happen next? I have to take some time. Um, as I said before, 99 percent. I'm going to stop playing football and uh, I have uh, different options now uh, to continue related uh, to this magnificent sport and uh, and I need to sit down with my family and decide uh, what's the best for me and and for, for football in general for the next chapter. And just finally, I mean, so many emotions, so many memories of your time at Arsenal winning the FA Cup twice. And, but today, how does that, that rate, you know, clinching second place, our highest position for, for 10 years, how does it all, how do you compute it all in your head today? I think as the last day, it's, it's very special and it's very good. And I know how important as well it was for the fans to finish above uh, Spurs. And uh, we are disappointed because I think this group of players got the ability to go and win this Premiership. And uh, we haven't managed to do it. And, and I have to say sorry as a captain uh, not to be able to lead this club to, to reach what we wanted. But uh, at the same time, I know the guts of this club and uh, people can be very honored and, and grateful for what the people does inside because uh, it can't get much better than that. Mikel Arteta, thanks very much. Thanks again for the last time. Thank you. Cheers. Even if I try, even if I wanted to, and I can't change. Even if I try, my love, my love, my love, she keeps me warm. She keeps me warm. She keeps me. Warm.